Amazing, wasn't it, folks? Um, so, how many did you count? All running out at once. There's quite a few out there. I'm not going to count them right now. Uh, but don't forget about poor Jarra out the back. She's always interacting with these, but not, uh, not, not uh, physically. Um, but I'm, well, I'm sure we'll hear about Jarra very shortly when I hand over to Christina. Um, so we've got a, quite a lot of lions here, and we've been breeding them over the last few. Years. Very exciting. Um, we obviously do our bit for the breeding programs to, to ensure that genetic diversity because although we've grown up with the images of lions in cartoon books, in, in movies, thinking about the Lion King, we tend to actually think that there might actually be quite a lot of lions out there that actually seem to be going okay. Um, but the truth is, um, they're just as vulnerable to extinction just as a lot of other animals. So as much as we can care about our animals here at the zoo, um, we do need to do our, our bit um, for the wild animals too. And simply um, by buying little beads, beaded products here at the zoo, beads for wildlife, um, that's one way that you can help out, out lions because it helps the communities over in northern Kenya to live side by side with animals. And on top of that, there are our zoo members. How many zoo members do we have? 30% off in the zoo today only. So Christmas shopping, and that's a good excuse to, to head over, um, and even to ticket office if you're not, not a zoo member. Today's ticket price does go towards zoo membership if you want to sign up on um, the day. So go Christmas shopping, um, but I'm talking too much. Um, here you go, here, here's Christina everybody. She's here to talk about our beautiful bride. The staff get 30% off as well, I might go shopping too. Yeah, yeah, I think we do. So, welcome, yeah, my name is Christina. These are beautiful lions. We've got nine lions all together. And as you could just experience, it's not everyone's favourite. So, uh, Aziza was like, mm, I have a lick here and a lick there, and thank you very much. Not my, my cup of tea. Uh, but that's fair enough. So, we try to really spice their diet up with lots of different things. Uh, they get, as you see, chicken, rabbit, beef. Uh, kangaroo so they've got a, quite a wide variety um, and we also do carcass feed so big pieces of uh, animals we put out so they can work together as a pride and le really get stuck into their food which can very often be quite a noisy situation um, but that is just literally how lions communicate it sounds usually worse than what it is because if they growl at each other, even if it's not in a nice way, it sounds uh, quite deep and different to us. <laughs> Tom, Tom and myself, we love to stand on two legs and not be on the ground, run over by all of us beautiful people here. Um, as well as it's something for Naribi as well. I know we're talking lions here, and usually it's the other way around that we feel we are getting intimidated and scared by lions. Um, lions can get scared and intimidated quite easily as well. So. That we all can enjoy beautiful Naribi on the Jeep. I ask you just to walk slowly back to the Jeep or enter the window in this whole area instead of running towards it. Because just imagine you're sitting on your couch at home having an ice cream, not thinking about anything bad, and then a pride alliance of 50 lions with they'll come running towards you. I officially would put my head. So, Gerald, uh, Gerald, sorry. Naribi most likely will get a fright, jump off the Jeep remove herself up to the far end because you got a fright and not return. And then we lose this beautiful experience being that close to a beautiful African lion. So, if we all walk normally... Thank you so much. Proud Thank you.